Hi, Virgo. Welcome to Virgo Speaks Tarot. I'm Shawnee. Welcome to the channel, guys. Hello, if you are returning, welcome back. Virgo, this is your weekly reading, September 9th through the 15th, guys. Come on in, Virgo. Let's get into this energy. So this is a general, a weekly general reading. So what I'm going to do is pull three cards for general we're going to get general energy money career finances and love messages from spirit guys so make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel show your girl some support by hitting that like button i greatly appreciate you virgo we have number six material and spiritual prosperity is already jumping out here on the table, Virgo. What I'm hearing is, Virgo, it's yours. It's all yours. Virgo, you're about to step into, I'm getting like a, a new lifestyle, a luxury lifestyle. You're about to, your life is about to change. You're on the money path, guys. And you're enjoying it. You're enjoying this material and spiritual prosperity. Number six, Virgo. All right, so let's get into it. We have material and spiritual prosperity. What else is going on with Virgo for the week of the 9th through the 15th? We have number three, recognition and rewards. Wow, Virgo. For some of you, I'm picking up Virgo's born on the 6th of September, Virgo's born on the 3rd of September. Virgos who share my date of birth, September 3rd. Wow, so Virgo, you're going to be recognized. You're going to receive some sort of recognition, reward. Virgo, I feel like for your... I'm getting like a disciplined energy for your hard work, of course, your efforts, but I'm giving, I'm getting an energy of not giving up. Okay, let's see what's going on, Virgo. Give me one more card for Virgo, please. Holy Spirit for Virgo for September 9th through the 15th for Virgo. Ooh, what is this? <laughs> Number six, victory and success. Oh my goodness, Virgo. So we have all the positive energy coming out for this week. <sighs> wow. At the bottom of the deck, we have number seven, triumph. Triumph. <laughs> so the waiting game, Virgo, the waiting game is over. The triumph card is all about the chariot energy. It's all about moving forward, fast movement. Now you're able to, I feel like you're moving down that, that path of prosperity, guys, you're about to be rewarded, awarded, all right? So Virgo, this week is very special for a lot of you when it comes to victory, success, abundance. Uh, for some of you, I feel like the number six and the number three is very significant. I want to get a moon message for Virgo for guidance. For Virgo, please, because I feel like Virgo, this week, for some of you, now, I'm just going to be honest, I am definitely manifesting material prosperity, victory, and success, but right now, I'm like feeling the moon card energy in my own situation because I don't see it. So, Virgo, for some of us, this week, I feel like the clouds, the sun is going to burn away the clouds where you're going to be able to see, okay? Because I'm getting like some kind of energy, like Virgo, you might not be aware of this success, this recognition, these rewards, this prosperity and material abundance that's coming. Yeah, you might be at the point where you're just waiting and standing in your faith, but Virgo, mm, you guys are about to 
I feel like there's going to be so much gratitude expressed to your spiritual team for Virgo. Be real. Be authentic when it comes to... I'm being... Be genuine. I feel like this is, this is something that has happened. For some of you, be real with yourself, Virgo. I feel like you had to take some time out alone and just really tap in and connect with your emotions. With the full moon in Aquarius, sometimes this can mimic Virgo's energy, especially if you have Virgo moon, you know, or Aquarius moon. It may have been a little difficult for you to tap into your emotions. But what I'm picking up here, Virgo, is time to be real. It's time to be true to yourself. Mm. Give me two more for Virgo. September 9th through the 15th. What is the guidance? What is the guidance for Virgo? Aquarius also represents the star card. Navigation, guidance, alignment, and the spotlight. I've been picking that up for you guys. A lot of healing in Virgo with that Aquarius moon energy, guys. Aquariuses are extremely strong. So Virgo, spirit is letting me know that Virgo, you have the strength to endure whatever you're going through right now. But you will make it out on the other side, victory and success. Don't let pride get in your way either. Don't let pride get in your way. For some of you, you may have Leo in your chart. I have Leo and Venus. For some of you, you have Leo in your chart. Don't let your pride get in your way. All right? Be real. Be authentic with your emotions, with yourself. All right? And the last card for some of you, you may have Libra. In your chart, we have time. Yeah, make time for self-love. So this always comes out for Virgo. All about self-love, self-love. And you know why, Virgo? Because we give so much to of our energy, our time, our focus, to our career, to our families, to our partners, that we barely give that same attention to ourselves. So Virgo... I'm loving the advice. Definitely resonates. I want to get for this weekly reading. I don't use this deck often. But let's get some ancestor guidance for Virgo. Virgo. For my beautiful Virgo. All right, guys. Let's tap in. All right, if you guys are enjoying this reading so far, make sure to hit the like button so this video can circulate. It's good for the YouTube algorithm. So the other Virgos that may not have known about this reading or this channel will be able to tap in for Virgo. Virgo ancestors, what is the message? Strategy and planning is key this week. All right, so your actions have taken you to a new phase in your spiritual evolution. Now is the time to plan and strategize for the highest possible outcome. So Virgo, guys, so this is what's going on. So Virgo, because of your actions that you took spiritually guided actions. Now, remember, if you've been following my channel for a while, I've always been saying, I don't know who it is that's watching, but you have strong ancestral or guardian angel presence around you, okay? Now, your ancestor is letting you know, Virgo, because of the actions that you have taken, you're on a whole new spiritual level now. You have upgraded. So now is the time now that you've taken action, that's why there's so much rewards, victory, success, material, and spiritual prosperity. Because, Virgo, you did something. You were very strategic. There's something that you were very smart about. You see, she's playing chess. 
not checkers, all right? She's playing chess. She's being being very smart. For some of you, you're like, you know what? I can't do this alone. This thing called life, it's too hard. I'm a physical being and a spiritual being. I'm going to have to rely on my spiritual side to get through to get through these obstacles, blockages. And Virgo, you were very smart, very wise. And Virgo, because of the action that you took, prayer, um, whatever it was, prayer, opening up your heart, whatever it was, Virgo, that you did, the action that you took, that you were divinely guided to take, now you're on a whole nother level your spiritual team is saying strategize for the highest possible outcome. And that's what's going on here. Material harvest, recognition and rewards, victory and success. More self-love is here, Virgo. The more you pour into yourself, the more others and the universe will pour into you. So this is beautiful. Don't let pride get in the way either. All right, so I'm loving that message from your ancestors, Virgo. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to tap in. I want to jump in for the tarot. Let's get into it for Virgo. All right, so let's get into it for Virgo. So we're going to get a little bit of... Clarity answers for, for love, for finances, career, all right? And we're going to get the Holy Spirit's message. So let's tap in, Holy Spirit, show me clearly what is Virgo's energy starting for this week? What is Virgo's energy starting this week? Virgo's energy starting this week, September 9th, Monday. All right, Virgo. Okay. We got the Ten of Wands, Virgo. Look at this. It's almost over, guys. It's almost over. Virgo, look at you. Now, I'm not going to say taking that divinely guided action was easy, right? I can't say it was easy. Yeah, yeah, Virgo, I can't tell you it was easy, but what I will tell you is that you will reach your destination. You will be triumphant. You will be successful. You will make it. You will make it to the finish line, guys. No matter how hard, how tough it is right now, you will make it. And everyone is going to know you are a winner, a star, that you're victorious, successful, all right, Virgo, even if you don't want that level of fame or recognition, it's coming, guys. I kept picking up. Yeah, this person is in the spotlight. I keep getting that energy for you, Virgo. You're about to be in the spotlight. People are going to know your name. They're going to know you for your light, for your positivity, for your power, you're, you're one with the divine. I'm hearing, yeah. Ho yep, I'm hearing Holy Trinity. Holy Trinity is what I'm hearing here, Virgo. All right, you are so connected, yep. And that's why we're picking up, you have leveled up spiritually. You are one with the divine. For some of you, um, I'm picking up the energy that, yeah, this is higher self activation, your spiritual team is here, Virgo. Virgo, I'm so proud of you for all, for this level of accomplishment. So Virgo, starting out as the Ten of Wands. It's almost over, guys. You're almost there. So Virgo, this lets me know that you haven't given up yet. No matter how hard it is, right, Virgo? Because it takes a lot for us to throw in the towel, right? I think, you know, for Virgos, we're just too mentally strong, right? We're so determined. 
that I don't think we can be down for too long. And that's kind of like a curse in a way. It's like a, it's like a double-edged sword because it's like, you know, sometimes we just need, you know, but know what, you know what it is. It, it balances us out. Honestly, it balance, it balances us out because it's like, we can't stay down for too long. And I love that about us. All right. But sometimes we can become a workaholic. But Virgo, I do see things are a little tough right now. We got the Four of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So Virgo, it's like, be careful of your emotions at this time. Because even though things are hard right now, just push through, stay strong, know you're going to make it. Give yourself positive talk. Positive affirmations. You got this, girl. One step after another. I got this. I'm a winner. I'm a survivor. I'm going to make it. You know, victory. You know, I can taste, smell the victory. Whatever it is that's going to get you through this, Virgo, pump yourself up. Because, guys, you're about to receive major rewards, major success for your accomplishments here, for not giving up, for doing the tough work right now, all right? Be careful, though, of what you're manifesting because there could be opportunities, there could be help that the universe is sending your way. Just, you know, before you get to your destination, you may get little offers of help. And, you know, you might not see it. Or it may not, you know, you may be so focused on your situation being hard, you might not recognize offers or opportunities around you. All right, but look at this, Virgo. Spirit can't wait to show you. Virgo, if you keep going, if you continue to endure, if you continue to have faith, you're going to make it to your destination. You're going to make it to the end of the tunnel. You're going to make it to the, what is it? What I say? The rainbow, the, the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. That's what's going on, guys. And this is when your new life, your new beginning is going to begin. All right, guys. So you're starting out this week with a lot of pressure, but you're still fighting. And I love that. What's going on with Virgo, Holy Spirit? What is going on? What should, Vir what should Virgo be focusing on? We know it's hard this week, but what should Virgo focus on? What should Vo Virgo focus on, Holy Spirit? Okay. We got the Queen of Cups. Virgo. That's that self-love. Do things that's going to make you happy. That's going to make you feel loved. Or, Virgo, this is a good time for you. You know, you might be put in the opportunity where you are, you know, caring for others or doing nice things for other people, even though things are not working out in your life or, you know, things are not moving quick enough. I do see that you are still in a position of love, giving. You're very sweet, all right? So Spirit is saying, Virgo, focus on giving and receiving love at this time, all right? Don't focus on the harsh reality of your situation, okay? Because it's coming to an end. Just focus on love, beauty, happiness, Okay, yeah. Look, we got the four of wands. I'm telling you, you guys, it's almost over. It's almost over. You're about to be celebrating a victory, a success very soon. What is your current situation right now? What if it's not money? What if you're like, you know what, I'm okay, you know, things are good. Everyone's not going through a financial hardship. What if it's just a nasty coworker that brings you stress? This is what is about to be, you're about to overcome it. 
Keep pouring into yourself. Keep doing nice things for others. Don't let this negative Nancy ruin your beautiful spirit of caring, giving, okay? Continue to be who you are. There's going to be some sort of reward or recognition that you're going to receive. All right, Virgo, be very strategic, guys. Remember, your actions have weight. So make sure you're taking divinely guided action, okay? Like, you know, pray for these people if you're dealing with stressful people at work, okay? But Virgo, you're about to overcome whatever it is that's stressing you out this week, guys. Just focus on the positive. Focus on love. Virgo. What are what could be any challenges? If there's any challenges that Virgo may face, show me now. Three of Pentacles. This could be working with people at work. This could be getting along. It could be really hard working with these people. But I feel like the challenge is, is to work together. Is to realize that everyone has something to bring to the table. Everyone has, it's like everyone that's involved here, whoever, like in your situation, it could be, it could be you struggling with your partner. Like spirit is saying everyone needs to come together and work this problem out. Okay, if you're struggling in a relationship, you guys come together and work it out as a family. When it comes to work, Spirit is saying, Virgo, you guys, if you're struggling with someone in the workplace, find something about this person that you respect, that you can appreciate, something that you can grow or learn from them. I feel like that new mindset or change of perspective, this is what's going to make things more it's going to it's going to make you able to work with this person easier. Okay. Um or you may find yourself needing this person or actually feeling like they are valuable on the team. All right? Cuz I do see success here. The ace of wands is at the bottom of the deck, letting me know Virgo and the sun card. To uh, this, the Sun card, Major Arcana. All right, Virgo. So let's see what's going on. We're going to clarify. Holy Spirit, what is your message for Virgo this week? What is your message for Virgo this week? We have Ten of Swords. So Virgo, it's over, guys. It's a painful ending. It was hard. It was rough. So spirit is saying, Virgo, whatever is coming to an end is going to end, but it didn't defeat you is what your spiritual team wants you to know. You're victorious. You're powerful, more powerful with the Ace of Wands revealing itself. You're more powerful than you, than you actually thought, imagined. All right, so Virgo, as you can see, this person still has fight in them. All right, so Virgo, Spirit wants you to know, guys, that this hardship you're going through is coming to an end, but there's things that you're going to learn and grow from it versus it defeating you. So you're going to get through it, guys. And what is the near outcome for Virgo? Near outcome. What is the near outcome for Virgo? So the sun card flew back out, guys. Wow, we got multiple cards. We got the king and queen of swords and the king of wands. So Virgo, I feel like, guys, I feel like for some of you, you may be stepping into a leadership role, getting the job done. 
I feel like for some of you at work, I'm seeing major leadership. You may be thinking about traveling. Yeah, you're taking some sort of, you're taking charge here over your life. The king and queen of swords. Wow. This is a power couple. So for some of you, I'm picking up like, you know, I'm getting that there's going to be an ending and a new beginning, but I feel like Virgo, when it comes to relationships, I feel like you and your partner are going to be stronger than ever. I feel like you guys are going to finally get on the same page. It has a lot to do with you, Virgo, in this Queen of Cups energy, just lo very loving, supportive you know, non-judgmental, not, not criticizing, just giving love. And I feel like that's going to heal a situation or it's going to put you and your person in a position where you can actually open up and really learn from each other. All right. So I'm seeing this power couple, very intelligent. For some of you, you could be dealing with someone with air in their chart, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like there was a lot of lessons learned here, but I do see things ending successfully. Um, I, I Excuse me. I do see this relationship coming together successfully, but I do see something did come to an end, but I do see the new beginning here. More healed energy. All right. So for some of you, you and your partner may have had like a little tough week, but I do see you guys earning, earning things out. All right. With the sun card, Virgo, this is major success coming your way. Major abundance, guys. Get prepared. So when it comes to finances and career for Virgo, when it comes to Virgo and finances and their career, you guys could be working really hard this week. Spirit is saying just focus on what's coming in for you. There's going to be a lot of love, a lot of appreciation and gratitude for your hard work. I feel like for some of you, there's a lot of support coming your way. And I feel like there's going to be some sort of surprise coming in as well for you, Virgo. When it comes to Virgo career and finances, what is the energy for Virgo? career, and finance. For some of you, you may be thinking about opening up a restaurant or you may be thinking about getting into the, the, in, the food industry, okay? Um, also, this can represent um, what I'm, uh, it could represent needing more money. Um, this can represent like in the position where you're ready to receive more with the spoon and knife here, cutlery, this can represent ready to eat, ready to receive, ready, um, living well. Um, so soul provider, let's get into it. For some of you, there may have been some financial burden just being the only one working and it, it just feels hard. For some of you, you feel like you're the only one working hard. Let's see, when it comes to career, I feel like, Virgo, you're ready to receive more. Business tools. What is this? Career finances for Virgo. When it comes to career and finances, Virgo, I see you in this Queen of Swords energy. Very intelligent, communicating what it is you need. Not letting your emotions influence your decision making i love it for virgo career and finances we have a ring so we have financial commitments here when it comes to your career finance there is a you are committed to your job long term investment you may have been on the job for years this also can represent a partnership, working together, fulfilling career. So Virgo, I see you committed. For some of you, there is some sort of leveling up where the three of pentacles can also represent not just building, not just representing effort and hard work and feeling aligned with 
your mind, soul, purpose, everything going in the right direction. You're working with a team of people all for the same goal. I'm also picking up elevation, major financial assistance, Virgo. So for some of you, you're stepping into a leadership role, a more fulfilling career. Another group of you, I'm seeing a partnership blossoming well, all right? I'm getting long-term investments. There's that moon. Give me one more for Virgo. Career and finances for September 9th through the 15th. All right. So we have an award. There it is, guys. There's that award that you deserve so badly. The recognition is coming in. Virgo, this is about winning money. Payoff. For your effort, recognition, advancement, professional work, and fame. Virgo, you will be rewarded this week, guys. This is beautiful. I'm loving this energy. I want to get a message here for Virgo. Hold on, guys. Let me see. Yeah, I'm going to get... Okay, here we go for Virgo, please. Okay. All right. So I want to pull a quick love card for Virgo. Yeah, there's love here. This is the energy I'm picking up. As I split the deck, we have love, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, and attraction this is what's going on guys this is what i'm picking up and we also have palm tree stability security growth endurance and flexibility palm tree so virgo i feel like when it comes to this week when it comes to relationships things are going to get more stable Things are going to become more secure financially, especially when it comes to love. So let's see what's going on for Virgo. I want to get a card on the table, but that's what I saw just splitting the deck. For Virgo, when it comes to love, when it comes to love, Virgo and Virgo partner, I like you. There it is. I like you. Someone likes you. There's romance blooming, fun flirting, wanting to go out on dates. So Virgo, you and your partner are like in love with each other again. You guys are back feeling the love this week. You guys are going to remember how much you really like and enjoy each other's company. What's coming to an end is all of those hard times that was bringing out the worst in you. Look, you're ending this week, Virgo. Happy. I am looking forward to this energy, okay? You're going to be back feeling abundant, happy, outside, enjoying your best life. You're going to be back in the energy of giving, loving, just supportive, taking care of the kids, loving everyone, loving yourself, just in a very grat grateful energy, Virgo. So this is a beautiful week, Virgo, where love, you know, is going to be restored in your relationships and you're going to receive a huge reward and recognition for all of your hard work, Virgo. You're just going to feel like life is fulfilling, especially with your career. Virgo, what is the message, Holy Spirit, for Virgo? This is your weekly reading, September 9th through the 15th. All right, guys. So if you are waiting for the general birthday reading, guys, it will be uploading after this reading, okay? I already did the reading. So look out for September 7th and September 8th. 
And later on, I will be doing birthdays for today, September 9th. All right, Virgo. So let's get into your reading. Now, keep in mind that if you want a personal birthday reading, that is $44.44. .44. All the information will be in the description box below. You can get your very own personal reading. Now, keep in mind, these readings are general, so if everything in the reading may not resonate with you. All right, for Virgo, please. For Virgo. For Virgo. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And we have Virgo. You are strong. You are resilient. You will defeat this. There it is, guys. Undefeated Virgo. There it is. Whatever you're going through this week, your spiritual team wants you to know, Virgo, you are way too strong for this. You are way too strong to let this situation bring you down, Virgo. It's coming to an end, guys. All right, don't worry. You're going to be back happy very soon, okay? You got this, Virgo. All right, guys, until the next time, stay beautiful, stay abundant and blessed. I love you guys. Bye, Virgo.